Hey everyone, Rajathon here. We're going to do a quick Should You Read on The Reluctant Swordsman by Dave Duncan. Kindle recommended this book to me a few years ago and I really enjoyed it. I'm glad they did. And I'm going to jump in and tell you why after the intro. If you haven't subscribed to the channel and you'd like to see what we do here, we do a lot of cool book reviews and some discussions about books and I'd really love to get into it with you guys. I totally enjoy doing this. So if you like the video at the end, go ahead and give us a thumbs up and I'd love to hear what you have to say in the comments down below. Thank you. Today on this video, I got a great videographer, my son. Hey! So he's videoing for me and I'm so excited to have him part of this video. So Dave Duncan seemed like a really cool guy. He was born in Newport on Tay, Scotland, and then after college moved to Alberta, Canada to become a geologist. At about the age of 53, he decided to start writing after his career got, went into a slump. He then wrote over 60 books after that, before he died at the age of 85. So The Reluctant Swordsman is book one in the Seven Swords trilogy that was turned into a four book series in 2012 when a uh, fourth book was added. Our main character is actually two different people. We have Sean Sue the Swordsman and Wally Smith, the guy from our planet. So Wally was just a normal guy who died from meningitis in our world. What's meningitis? It's a, it's a disease of the brain. Oh! So Wally's mind is placed in the body of Sean Sue the Warrior and then craziness ensues afterwards. Now for me and probably every other guy out there, the idea of becoming a powerful swordsman after just being a normal guy on earth is probably one of the coolest things and probably we've all imagined it. So this definitely taps into that idea in um, fantasy for us. But all that amazing power that Shansu gets comes with a couple consequences that are real and definitely um, come through in this book really well. He may have all of Shansu's powers and abilities and the ability to fight as a swordsman, but he doesn't have the knowledge of this preliterate world where he can make some real serious mistakes that could get him um, in a ton of trouble. His mission is given to him by a god named Shorty who walks around as a naked little boy. I thought that was hilarious and Shorty's pretty funny as well. One of the coolest theories that I've talked to with other people about is the idea of if God decided to create life on different planets that we know nothing about and what those planets and the people and all those things would, would be like. Not necessarily alien, because God created us in his image, so I would assume that they would also be created in his image, but a little bit different and probably have different ideas and thoughts and things like that. They also go into the omnipresence of their God, which is cool for me because the cornerstone of the Christian faith. So Jesus died for our sins that we committed and the sins we'll commit today and the sins we'll commit in the future. That's why when we're saved, we are, we are always saved. And that's an amazing, powerful message that Christianity holds, and I love it so much. So as we get back to Should You Read, I definitely wanted to go into, this book is great for people who want a quick, interesting, pretty funny fantasy read where it sets up a neat, interesting world we've never been to before and has some great ideas that I think really most people will enjoy reading about. So it's definitely not an epic fantasy book, but there are three more books in the series, so it does get pretty epic once you go through the whole gamut of the series. I think it's definitely an interesting read, and I think you should give it a shot, but I understand all books are not for everybody. We all have our individual tastes. Please give this book a try. I really enjoyed it, and I loved it, and I want more people to read it. So I'm going to post a spoiler-filled review on Goodreads. It should be in the description below. Also, I'm going to do an in-depth spoiler-filled review on YouTube here as well. That should be linked up above, and I hope you guys check that out as well. So Dave Duncan died October 29th, 2018 and he was a great author and I hope that this video and hopefully a bunch of people read this book um, and, and really just make him known and that his words don't die with him because I think he had some great things to say and some really interesting things and I hope people enjoy his book. Um, he wrote a bunch of other books too and I'm really excited for people to get into it and maybe we can have a great conversation about it. So if you guys have any great book or recommendations go ahead and put them in the comments down below. I'd love to hear what you have. I really enjoy recommendations and I hope that you guys give me some down below. If you want, the link to the Discord will also be in the description and it's a great way to communicate and talk and just see what you guys have to say. Um, we do memes, we do book recommendations. I really enjoy being on Discord. It's probably my favorite social media other than YouTube. So if you guys wouldn't mind subscribing to the channel, there's going to be other great books that we do reviews on. The Amazon right now is $1.99 on Kindle if you want to follow that link as well. Um, I'd love for people to jump in and get this book. 
It has been a great read for me, and I hope other people get to read it as well. All right, guys. Love you. We'll see you next time, and thank you for stopping by.